Japanese Barbie from the Dolls of the World collection, and she is a pretty gorgeous doll. Yes, she comes to us from the east, from the land of the rising sun, the beautiful Japan, which is gorgeous. I love the kimono. Let me give you guys a close-up look at her. She has the beautiful, stunning Miko Kira doll face mold. Really, really cute. I say her, um, she's got beautiful brown eyes, beautiful, like, coralish orange lips, light blushing of blush, and then her eyelids are done in the same color as her lips are. Her hair is up in a ponytail. It's wrapped in a cute little floral ornament. I love her kimono. It's nice and red. It's beautiful. It has, what's it have? It has blossoms and branches all over it. She looks really, really adorable. I love her gold obi. She is wearing a red ring on her finger. I think it is a blossom. Let me spin her around. As you can see, the great detail on the back of her kimono. It is gorgeous. I love her gold bow. It is placed in a down position. Really, really cute. Now let me show you guys the inside of her sleeves. On the back, she has gold trim that matches her obi, which is really, really beautiful on both sides. And then her shoes are these kind of sandal-like shoes, but they go straight up because Barbie, of course, does not have flat feet. Hope you guys can see that well. My lighting's kind of gross today. But I wish they would have made her with flat feet, but that's okay. She's still, still super beautiful. Now, she, of course, is a part of the um, Dolls of the World collection, which I love. Any of you out there have ever collected Dolls of the World? They are amazing. Their boxes come with um, a little, like, kind of like a story from the doll, explaining things about her country, festivals they have. You get to learn words and phrases from the different countries that the dolls are from. And I just love Mattel doing these Dolls of the World because they're beautiful, beautiful dolls. And she came with, the only accessories she came with were her shoes, and she came with this old stand. I am not a huge fan of these stands, so I switched it out and gave her a regular Kaiser doll stand that grips her around the waist. And she came with this cute little cardboard Japanese fan that you get to put together. It looks like it has blossoms on it. It looks like peonies, which are really, really super beautiful. And it's blue and really, really gorgeous. Now, this doll is amazing. I love the Kira Miko face mold. They don't use it anymore, which I wish they did, um, because it's really, really beautiful. And I think it was recently used to make uh, the Philippine, uh, the Philippines Barbie. Oh, I can't remember her name. She is really, really, really super gorgeous. And she is a collectible Barbie, and she's fabulous, and I need to own her. <laughs> and I love this doll. She's gorgeous. Of course, I love the Japanese. They are such a beautiful culture, such beautiful, beautiful human beings. And I just love, love, love their history. I love their... Everything about them is super, super beautiful. Um, from their manners, from their dress, from their style, from their eat, from the food they love to eat. I just think it is a beautiful, beautiful culture. And I love that Mattel takes the time to make dolls to introduce our children and, you know, introduce us as collectors to maybe another culture that we have not really you know, looked into before. So I think these dolls are a great idea. I can't wait to see what the current line comes out with because every time the um, Dolls of the World collection come out, I have to get them because I love them. Well, not all of them, but I pick and choose which ones I can, can't live without. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for my Throwback Thursday review. It is from 1984, Japanese Barbie from Mattel's Dolls of the World collection. She is super stunning in her kimono. She is so gorgeous and beautiful and waiting to take us around a tour of her beautiful homeland, Japan. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Continue to enjoy your Thursday. And thank you so much, Jay Jador, for the wonderful inviting introduction. And you guys, remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself, be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous 
gorgeous world full of beautiful people. You guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Sayonara. Good Tuesday morning. We'll be looking at a Barbie doll, a pink label, Barbie collection, Dolls of the World Japan. So right now we're looking, she's still in the box. And we'll look at her and the back of the box. We will take her out of the box, but we won't loosen her. So now we're looking at the COA of the Japan Barbie doll, the pink collector. And I removed the box, but she is still attached to the, um, the backboard. I will try to give a more three-dimensional view, but we'll start from the bottom and be surprised on the top with the beauty of her face, but here are her, her sandals. And I actually have the fashion, so it is removable for those who like to redress. I didn't get the tights with, with the, I just got the kimono that I bought separately. Her fan, which I didn't get either. This is a beautiful fan. It is attached by plastic. And you can see that this is for those who sew, this is actually an, an elastic that you can buy at a like a Joann's a sewing craft store. I recognize that. I think that was ingenious. Sorry to be going back to the bottom of her shoes, but I just wanted it. And her hair is tied to her cummerbund. She has yellow eyeshadow. And here are the flowers in her hair. Jet black, and then she has that I don't know what that's supposed to be, like a chopstick maybe. I, I don't I don't question why they added that accessory. She has a little birthmark, which is really attractive. Red full lips, yellow eyeshadow. So she does not have applied eyelashes. She does not. Here's a more three-dimensional view. Profile. She is not articulated. She takes a model news body. She comes with a doll stand. There's a close-up of her sandals. Which is full gold buckles. She doesn't have any nail polish. 